Dude, first place, 10 grand? I don't know, what the heck are we doing here, man? <laughs> Fun paid a $5,000 entry fee to win 10 grand. Oh, oh. Well, here we are, boys. We are sitting here in line to dump our boat in the water. This is stop number two of the MLF Big Five on Lewis Smith Lake here in Coleman, Alabama. And you guys seen practice? Practice was uh, a little challenging. You know, there was some stuff in that video, I'm not gonna lie, that we had to cut out. But, you know, it's constantly changing out here. It's springtime, water temperatures are in the mid 50s, we're on a warming trend, so a lot of things can really transpire throughout the event. So we're just gonna keep an open mind. I've got like 20 or 30 rods tied up with stuff ranging from, you know, light line little swim baits to, to you know, 50 pound braid with a frog tied on it, you know. So we're going to get ahead and we're going to try a bunch of different things and uh, really just mix it up, hodgepodge around, try to let the fish tell us what's going to go on. Because yesterday, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the format, but it's two days of practice, Monday, Tuesday, and then actually an off day on Wednesday. So no practice, we weren't allowed on the water. And yesterday was like 75 degrees. So. I think a lot can happen. We have a new moon coming up this weekend, and uh, them fish are kind of sliding on up there. We caught a couple of them that had, had uh, love in their eyes, they had red eyes and peeing, and you know, just, just setting up, you know, and and uh, I think it's gonna be fun, but we shall see. We, we got off to a little shaky start on Okeechobee, so we need to kind of bounce back a little bit. And I like Lewis Smith, it sets up good. I like, uh, I like hodgepodging around. I really like running patterns, and that's the cool thing about Lewis Smith is you can get on a deal and just run it throughout the lake and um you know that's something we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna start off shallow and uh maybe fish around some flooded bushes and just really try to catch a couple largemouth first thing in the morning maybe some of them fish that slid up either yesterday or last night and uh, try to catch a couple of them and if we do that'll be awesome but then we're gonna kind of go back towards the spotted bass and really try to chase them herring fish around them herring eaters are the biggest ones in the lake so we're gonna go ahead and try to do that and then maybe in the afternoon, slide back up there shallow again for them large mouth. Um, we shall see. <laughs> out dude i just started throwing this i'm not gonna lie it's called the deal freaking baking oh my god what a way to get started dude. it's like a freaking force off I love catching bass, dude. I just love catching bass. I'm not gonna lie, it sucks when you don't catch bass. But I love catching bass.
<laughs> oh, gosh, four inch general right there, man. He's got it so far down in there. Oh, these fish are biting. These fish are biting today, man. That's kind of scary. It's oh, a nice one. Look at that thing right there. I <laughs> feel old spotted bass. Oh, man, they're biting. I hate nets, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be. It's gotta be close to three. Shaking like a damn leaf. Two nice ones now. Two nice. Oh, this is right here. This is what I'm throwing. You can see I got a couple pre rigged boys already. Got some nails in it. But this is just a four inch general. This is a max scent. Whenever I get away with the max scent, I like throwing the max scent. Um, four inch bait, but it's a little thinner than your traditional wacky worm. And you can see I already have O-rings on there and I already got a nail weight in it. That's got a little straight shank hook. And that's what we just caught them last two on. I mean, I literally just pulled up to this stuff. I had one bite right here on this tree. I shook him off. I didn't get a bite on that tree, but I caught one before the tree and after the tree. A two pounder and a three pounder. So we're off to a really good start, guys. I mean, it's still only, shoot, I think it's only like 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we've got probably 11 and a half pounds. So, really, I got a lot of room to go, too. I got two pound and a halfers. If I can catch a couple of three pounders, it's going to be off to a fantastic start. It's already a good start. It's already a chance to play, but you start getting around that teens, 13, 14, now you got a heck of a start. Yeah, dude. I've waited all day for this. No joke. 
This is why I came out here at 3 o'clock this morning. 3 o'clock this morning? I've been out here since 3 o'clock this morning. Dang, dude. You guys from around here? I am indeed. Our school is actually just about a mile down the road from here. Oh, yeah. Hey. Thank you so much. I love yeah, that. Yeah, you, you got to do it for old, for old DC, Wheeler, Martin, yeah. and I still cannot believe he won Red Cross. Dude, how awesome is that? That was that? amazing. Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, and it was funny, dude, because, you know, we're all rooming together. Yeah. And, uh... I think I think he he just got on that deal really in the tournament. That last thirty minutes was just the most stressful. And when he started breaking down in his boat, I broke down with him. Dude, heck yeah, I mean, it was I emotional. Exactly. I mean, the thing is, I mean, that's that's career changing, you know. And I mean, he hasn't like he won that elite event like way back in the day. But I mean, it's been a while. It's been a while for me too. Man. I'm for me to win the tournament. I'm ready for you to win. It, it's it's yeah. tough out here, man. So you, so you guys live pretty close here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You fish Gunnersville a lot too? They, we actually had a tournament on Gunnersville last week. I got you. How was we, that? Was it? We, we <laughs> called two for four pounds. Oh, Dude, I'm not going to lie. This place out here, we can't talk about it. This place out here is tough right now. Exactly. I don't understand it. I mean, like, you know, practice, you know, I ran around, got a few bites here, got a few bites there, but I mean, it's tough to have that 15 inch limit. Like, you know, I mean, I had only 12 and a half pounds or whatever, but I like, like seven or eight keepers, like over 15 inches. Yeah. If I had like a four pound, a large one. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to have to bite my thumb. I can jerk on them. Yeah. 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 Well, you have an amazing recipe. Yeah, man. But it was nice meeting you guys. Yeah. Hey, you got a cool name too, bud. <laughs> Cool, man. It's cool uh, meeting. I always say it all the time. You know, back at home, I have a youth fishing tournament. And I said it from the beginning. Youth is the future. And that right there is the future of fishing. It's cool meeting them guys anywhere I go, whether it's a gas station, whether they come to these tournaments. It's always cool. And the big thing with high school and college fishing, it's providing them a lot of opportunity. For me, I started in college. And here I am right now fishing professional. This is like my 10th year, so. Really cool. Just need to try to catch us some tomorrow.